love your record. You say all those things you couldn't before. So you heard a song, the end of your CD, that hope may be the dark hearts of someone who noticed the drive time. Isn't ten minutes long? You're just too damn afraid to say what you mean. Or are you too? There's nothing worth living for if you can't even afford to be honest with yourself. Grains of salt are falling around you, slow glowing like it's onto your own. The words that you say are I too damn afraid to say what. Hello everyone and welcome to Miko's Corner. Today we will be trying something a little bit different. Um, we are going to play Raft because I need a nice chill type of game to uh, just hang out with. And as I say in the description, it's not the first time I've played this game. And uh, I really do enjoy this game despite some of the spooky elements at times. It's just enough that I can handle it. In fact, I think I need to change my settings. Because, um, uh, sorry. Rain's a little frazzled at the moment. Uh, because sometimes I will watch something while I'm playing. So, some of my sound settings may be low or off. Make sure to like this video and give it a thumbs up. 
Please subscribe to my channel and hit that bell for notifications every time I go live. If you'd like to comment, it also helps with the analytics. Um, so, let's do this. The indie station's pretty good, I'm liking it. I prefer instrumental, but mm, it's fine. Okay, so I need to do this. Raft. Sweet. Okay. I need to mess with the settings. Audio. Music volume is up. Okay, there we go. Now I can hear it. Um, graphics, borderless. Oh, it vanished. Okay, sweet. Alright, so there's that, there's that. Please let me know if I need to bump this. I probably should just bump the settings as it is. So I see it's barely even reading on OBS, but not a lot's playing at the moment, so... around 60 maybe okay my setting shouldn't be too um off so i guess my question now becomes do I show you my cool pirate ship, or do we just jump into a new world? like to see the pirate ship. Okay. So I think I called it Architect World or Architect Miko. That's what I called it. Yeah. All right. Let's check this out first. We can check the audio while we're here. Um, as usual, Hello, Brian. Welcome to the stream. Uh, that wasn't an immediate response for me earlier because we jumped from one stream to another for anyone who's watching the VOD. Because I'd rather keep my game separate so it's easier for you guys to search for them later or I can put them in playlists. Otherwise, I could stream for, you know, six hours playing three different games. I did that with one game, or two games actually, but that's because they were one-offs. So I didn't bother with switching streams. But I figure if I play through all of story mode for Raph that we will need to... Oh, it's nighttime. Okay, well, I was going to build something away from my pirate ship. So um, I built this out here. I was going to try to build something I build in Rust. Okay. So. It's kind of hard to tell right now. This is my pirate ship from the outside. From one side. This bottom level is probably too wide, or too tall it looks anyways. Or I need to paint it. I probably need to paint it. Let's be real. What color is that? I should probably paint it, huh? What color did I paint it, though? I... I did change it. Maybe try refreshing, Brian? It Sometimes it uses um, previous settings. Which actually, I'm going to change it again. Because I want to try to pull people in. Um...
yes, I will do that. Okay. Sweet. Um, trying to think. Damn it. Okay, okay, don't look, don't look, don't look at anything, don't look at anything. Don't look, don't look, don't look, don't look, don't look, don't look. Because I want it to be daytime. <laughs> and then we have to wait a little bit for the sun to actually come out. Don't look, don't look, don't look. Okay, so we came from over here, didn't we? forgot that I was working in nighttime last time. Where's my music? Okay. Here we go. So I think I went with like what, a dark red? No, I went with like... What color? I guess it is that color. Why is it different colored though? Oh, come on. I didn't even think about the outside when I was building it. Okay. Hi, Bruce. I'm unoriginal and named him Bruce after the Finding Nemo. Okay, so if that's the case, then that needs to be black all the way around. But it can't be. Ah, oh, coloring is a pain. Okay, this is my this is my pirate boat. Okay, so I put a giant totem pole here at the front as versus like a mermaid. Look, you can see it. The, the, the light goes through it. Also, where the hell is the music? Hello? Time between music. None. There we go. Yeah, yeah, you can look. Okay. So yes, this is my pirate ship. Um, I put a tiki... T tiki tower here. Come on, get up. The coloring on the outside doesn't work, but it's okay. So, this is our main deck. And right here we have Raft, Sweet, sweet Raft. Over here we have some shelving, or some storage rather. We have our tape decks to listen to some music on this awesome cassette. We have a little bit of plant, some lanterns, some decoration. Um, more uh, storage over there. Yes, Captain Overboard. So, we have our cool-ass shark head. We can put another trophy over here. Some more tiki's for uh, decorations purposes. This is our communications... Wait, no, sorry. This is our... What the hell's it called? Radar? Navigator. This is our navigator's uh, section. So, we sit here. We can... Wait. 
and we can tell the captain where we're heading. I gave him a chair, because I'm nice. And we have our antennas that go that way. More trophy boards. A couple flags. And then we come up here. We have our awesome pirate flag. And then we have our engine controls. So this is our... Wait, um... Do this. And then this can turn on our all of our engines at once. Actually, I think we're going backwards. We may not even be moving because it is um, creative. But yeah, they very recently added this into the game to control all of your engines at once. And we'll go visit those in a second. So this is the captain's quarters. And you know me, I'm a purple and... Go away. Close. You know me, I'm a purple and black kind of gal, and I thought the, the new paint job that they did was very cool. And these are actually two beds stuck together to look like a double bed. And I did opposite coloring. Good things come to those who float. Some more paintings. I really like this painting. It's a good one. Live, laugh, sail. Awesome little couch. To enjoy my house, including the fireplace over there. My shoes are by the fireplace. These are actually planter pots. It's kind of funny. This is my favorite guy. The the ninja duck. He's pretty cool. I also like the lucky cat, but that one's kind of harder to find. I've never actually found one in survival mode yet. So we come down here and we have our uh, mess hall. Oh, come on close. So we have a little bit of dining over here and like some bar stools, etc. Lots of painting. We have some uh, living type quarters with the couches and chair. Gotta have a piano. Some decorations over here on this shelf. The lucky cat. And always gotta have some greenery. And then we have our cooking area. We have a barbecue because you can cook all three at once. And cooking pot for recipes. And then I put a little bit of, or my extra food in there. I don't know if middies would work with this one. And then over here we have some more storage. I'd imagine that it would be more like... God, the volume's so loud for me. Um, I'd imagine they'd put like their clothing here instead, but this worked better. And then we have our crew quarters with a bunch of hammocks. And some uh, fun, funky photos for each person. Except this person, apparently, I didn't give one to. I don't think I could fit photos there. They're all different colors. I really like that one. That one's cool. Oh, and I was going to put... Um, or I did put storage in there. But I couldn't work it out where I could fit two, which would be cool. Or even a long one and a small one with the doors. Because I wanted to hide the stairs. This guy has a decent view? Yeah. Alright, now we go into the bowels of the ship. It looks well thought out. Thank you! It took me a while, but I'm very proud of it. Finding the location to go down was a pain in the butt, though. So we come down here, we got a ladder. This is where all the crap is. We have our anchor here. We have some extra storage there. I can't really go over here. Oh, I guess you can. 
Land ho! Jump. I put it right by the ladder so it'd be quicker to access. That took forever. All kinds of storage along here. Smelting and some storage up above to smelt things. These right here are collectors. So as you're um, shipping out, it'll collect for you. Okay, so. Where does this start? Okay, so this... This is our water purifier. So you have to plug it into the salt water down there. And I put this here so I wouldn't fall in. Because otherwise you can fall in and it's a pain. Um, and it stores a certain amount in there. But then you can run pipes over here to a huge water collector holder to collect. And my out... I couldn't figure it out with the spacing I have down here to get it to go to the back over there where I put some planters. So we come around here, we have one engine. And I found that you can put engines back to back of each other. So I don't know if we'll be able to see it, but those wheels are side by side. So this is our other engine. That way it takes up less space. And this is our fuel creators. You can put in food or like shark heads. And it creates fuel down here, biofuel. And then it runs this. But for easier access, you can throw them into these biofuel tanks and then run them to that, the engines. I'll get into it when I get into story mode, but I'm just walking through the process. I also have those tanks connected to each other to run to the engines um, and to the batteries to charge them. And then up here we have a very small and very pitiful, um, because I kind of gave up on it, farming area. Because the birds will attack your farming if you're doing it above ground. But yes, I am... Oh, I was so glad I was able to actually bring this to fruition. It's so cool. But yeah. This is my ship. And I, I decided to call it a pirate ship because it is red and black. So they work the best on the wood coloring. So I was like, well, red and black is typically pirate shippy. Alright. So I don't think I did anything, but we're going to save it. And we're going to go to the main menu. And start a new game. So, there are five different modes with this game. We have creative, unlimited supplies, and health. Peaceful, relaxed version of Raph where enemies are no threat. Easy, easier to maintain hunger and thirst. Inventory is not lost when respawning. Inventory is lost on normal. And uh, hard, you cannot respawn without the help of a friend. So I guess that would be a situation where you could only play multiplayer. Um, I'm going to go with easy because, like I said, I need a chill game today. Um, well, let's call it Miko's Corner. Oh, I'll need to find a spot for the cat. Because I don't think he can live in the bottom left. You are welcome, Brian. I... Certain games I really like to build in. Raft, uh, sorry, Rust is one of them. That was the other thing I was thinking of doing tonight. Was finding a creative server. Alright, so here we are on our little 2x2. Two two. Bruce is already there. and We're just collecting stuff.
barrels are awesome early game because they'll give you food. Presently though, we kind of need um, wood and plastic so we can expand our raft. I also need to make a spear very quickly. Nope, that's under this one. Planks and rope. Barrels also have rope, which are excellent. Hi, Bruce. You can also collect multiple things if you aim correctly. Oh, come on, don't. <clears throat> Yes, thank you. Let's see if I can do it with... Nope, I missed it. We're gonna get just the plastic then. If I had missed that barrel, I probably was gonna dive for it and go swim. See? You can get two at once, which is awesome. Can I make a mm, hammer? Shit. You can also right click to immediately bring your, um, what the hell is this thing called? Back quickly. hook. So this game is um, procedurally generated around your raft. So if I were to hop off on that island without a anchor, the, uh, the game would continue and eventually that island would despawn. Yeah. Oops, completely missed it. Oops. Okay, so I want to make a spear because Bruce is going to be a jerk here very shortly. I also need to keep an eye on my um, health and thirst, although it looks like it's going easy right now for obvious reasons. Well, you know, he also may not attack as frequently on easy mode, I forget. So I was trying to get my friends to play this game a while ago. And they were doing pretty good, but it was... I don't know, it didn't really intrigue them. Shoot. Did that reach? It did. That's good. Aiming with the first um, hook you get is a bit of a pain sometimes. Like, that did not go as far as I thought it was going to go. Yeah. 
awesome. Okay, so my hook just broke, but that's okay, I can make another one. My go-to generally is to try to collect a lot of stuff before I start building. Oops. Oh, I guess I did get that. Okay. If I can manage it anyway, sometimes Bruce gets in the way. Oops. He's gonna, okay, I thought he was going to break it. So now we can repair it if we have the stuff we need. Oh, uh, I need to do this first. Still good on inventory space for now. They're giving me a lot of barrels. Barrels are very hard to pass up in this game. When I was playing with my friends, we uh, would race out to get the barrels. They were a little scared of the shark, um, so they wouldn't get into the water for a while. But if you have good health, you can take a few hits from Bruce before you um, are going to die. God damn it. You just gotta keep track of the the raft. Okay. So Wait, that's... that's a chest. What? I've been getting chests? Haven't I? That's cool. I didn't know that that was a thing. My madam, you have a very beautiful and lovely voice. Wait, thank you, John Doolittle. Welcome to the stream. Bruce is alright. I mean... You know, he, he responds every now and then. He's like a constant companion. Alright. Let's see. Eh, not gonna reach it. There we go. Okay. So it looks like the sun is almost setting. The nice thing about this game is you're always in the beginning going in the same direction so presently we're going east so the sun is always going to be um traveling in front of above and behind us oh and of course for anyone who's new who has any questions feel free to ask because i may just not mention things since i've played this before okay so one of the things i do need to get at is purifier and a grill and your best course of action at the moment is to build things in the middle so Bruce doesn't um, destroy them if he attacks your ship all right cool oh and I need to make a cup Nighttime is a bit of a pain, um, 
But it's not impossible to see things. Oops, missed. Oh. oh, he was right there. He was waiting. You jerk. Aiming backwards is always a problem, though, unfortunately. Okay. So, I need to make... Oh, it was right there. I need to make a cup. Then, we fill it with salt water. Put in the salt water. It's going to boil it. Yeah, your items are going to glow in the dark. Kind of. In fact, I find mining underwater a little bit easier at night because things glow. Oh my god, what the fuck? That was a whale! How did he not capsize me? He was right under my fucking ship. <gasps> Holy crap. Okay, well, actually, I did know that they added animals, but I kind of forgot about the whale. <laughs> that was kind of terrifying. <sighs> Jesus. The only one that can attack me, though, is, is Bruce, though. He's a bit of a jerk. Okay. Um. Yeah. What's cool is that you can uh, hook things in as you're moving around the ship. Oops, I completely missed it. I have the bad habit of uh, hooking things in that I can actually pick up. Okay. So, I need more plastic. Missed it. I also don't want to go like super big with my build this time. I want to try to keep it fairly simple if I can. Because I have a tendency of expanding too far. But I guess it depends on as we oops 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 no shoot double shoot well we now have a couple of storage got too hasty it's okay Two and three. Then we can repair. There's a barrel over there. Hope it's gonna rain. Oh, I missed it. I had a scrap. I had an itch, so I reeled it in a little too late. Ooh, I got a blueprint for a receiver. Okay, so we're gonna drink this. We're gonna fill it back up. Oh no, I drank salt water. Shoot. Place salt water. Dang it. Salt water dehydrates you, if you didn't know that already. It's like drinking non potable water in the long dark. Not a smart idea.
There's something over there. I think it's an island, yeah. Not good, exactly. I missed it. Hey, I got another one. Okay, so I need to cook some potatoes. Fortunately, with this grill, I can only do one at a time. Okay, drink. For the love of God, I thought I didn't finish it or something. I'm gonna die because I keep drinking salt water. So with these story-related uh, blueprints that you see, you can see one in my um, last inventory slot. Um, you don't actually have to learn them. As soon as you collect them, you've um, technically learned them. So when, this I, when I pull this in, I will show you. Okay, so those things are under here. Wait, no, there. Where are they? Are they under? No, they're not under equipment. Well, that's one second. Let me get this barrel. Can make you have hallucinations if you drink enough salt water. Ooh. It's a little terrifying, I'm not gonna lie. Okay. I keep pressing all the wrong buttons. It's taking me a while to get back to back to playing. Okay. Pretty sure. Okay. So obviously your your baked food is gonna do more health. Okay. Drink. E. E. Okay. Switch to something else. Are you kidding me? Thank you, daytime. When I'm able to build a bed, I can sleep through the night. Right now, there are slightly other important things. I need to be careful not to eat too much of my food, though, because I'll either need to make a fishing rod or hope that I get more food in barrels. Which is possible. Is the game audio quiet, by the way? I'm barely seeing it pop up in OBS. So, oh, they actually do a pause. I thought the world kept moving even with a pause. Okay. Let's try that. Let's 
was I gonna check something else? I forget. It amazes me sometimes the distance that you can grab things off of your raft. Crap! As annoying as it is, I think it's really realistic that they make your vision a little screwy after you get out of the water. Like you actually do have water in your eyes. I give up. And like a lot of games, if you look in the corner of your vision, you can see a little bit better. Whereas right now, we can't see that island. Oh, shoot. I might have to let him take that piece of my boat. There's also a boat to the left, like another raft that was abandoned. We're going right at this one though, unfortunately. Can I make an anchor? Be here. Okay. We'll go to this island. Still need a lot of plastic. And I missed. So I'm going to dock on, or er, anchor on the other side of the island because the reef is over here. And the reef is where a lot of your, um, stuff is going to be. For down, down beneath. Shoot. Can I make, can I make, can I make a paddle? Apparently I can't, so we're going to dock here. Alright. Unfortunately, vegetables don't, um amount to much health. 
paddle was there. Damn it. I would think it'd be under tools. Okay. So the only thing with this anchor is that I have to like cut the rope when I'm done, so I can't reuse it later. Okay, so for now... Actually... Most things run in stacks of 20s, as you can see like that. Don't need the rocks. I'm very confused about these blueprints. Maybe they finally made them um, researchable. Still have a potato. Dang it. What do I need for storage again? If I did a second one? Rope. Okay. So, we'll actually just do that. And I'll make a second. Now I wish I'd made them even. Put the scrap there. I don't remember this piece of music. Don't really need that one either. All right, one sec. Oh, but I do need to make an axe, or I should make an axe. Plank, stone, and rope. Just bring those over, I think. Stone and rope, whoops. There we go. Okay. Empty inventory. I love that.
What was the last thing I said? Oh, I need to move the, the cat, don't I? Shoot. Sorry, I was taking a moment. Um... Yeah, I might have been muted. <laughs> okay, let me... I need to try something. Face the left. Okay, so then I need to... That one? I think it's that one, yeah. There we go. Okay. Cat's on the right side now. Alright, awesome. <sighs> yeah, I was muted, and I don't know how long I was. Okay, I like to run back along the debris field after I've landed at an island because the Bruce will stick around by the raft. Um, right now it's a little difficult to actually see the debris, though. Uh, you do need to make sure you know where the island is so you can return to it. Actually, the Kappamon's in a bad spot, isn't it? Wow, my uh, live studio thing is really far behind me. Interesting. Gotcha. <clears throat> okay, we'll see how that works for the Kappamon. See how um, in the way he is. Okay. Sorry about that. Okay, yeah, no, I was just talking about... Um, Getting stuff under the water and stuff above the water when I dock. Because Bruce will stick around your raft. So I will come out here and collect all my plastic and wood that I missed. Sometimes I'll even swim ahead, because I think this will be the end of the drift, the debris field. Because, yeah, you can swim a far way out. It's a little scary, but I try not to look down. Is it sun? Is it? Okay, I thought, I thought sunrise was trying to come. I 
I generally like to travel along one side of the debris field if I can and then come back the other side. Versus zigzagging across the entire time. It also helps me see how to get back. I'm not going to mine underwater too much this night, but I am going to dip below so you can see that the things that you can mine are glowing at nighttime. Okay. So you come down here and you see all of this stuff is glowing. We've got some ore here. It took me forever to figure out you have to hold your hook to actually mine it. This is copper. It'll be orangish during the daytime. And then you also have iron. This I believe is sand or rocks. Those are... oh that those are metal ore. Usually they're on the side of things. Obviously we have our oxygen on the top. But yeah. So it does kind of make it easy at night to collect things. These are stone. Stones are good at the beginning of the game, but not the end. Scrap can only be found underwater or in barrels. And then we have sand. And uh, yeah, so each island has like this drop-off point that is terrifying. But I always want to check the edges and the, the sides. So this is going to be iron. Because it's like silver blue. Or metal, rather. And then this one will be copper. One thing that it took me forever to find was vine, seaweed rather. I didn't know that you could collect these the first time I was playing. It was a oh, pain in the butt. Clams aren't super helpful either for what it's worth, but I'll grab a couple. Now clay on the other hand is uber helpful. You need them to make the furnaces. So you can smelt the ore. Oops, try not to do that. We'll have to go back and heal up in a bit though. We're running low on food and water. Gotta be careful how close I get to Bruce though. Because I have been mining before, and he's just come up behind me and took a bite. Oh, I saw Bruce in the background. You didn't see me. Good. I 
wonder if I can get the stuff that's right there. And then we're gonna head back to the raft. Oh, we're gonna have to anyways, because I need a new book. Never mind. He might attack me, so just be prepared. No? Oh, here he comes. I'm gonna collect these as we go. He's gonna hit me again, don't worry. Nope. Haha, -ha, gotcha! He takes... Oh god, what was it? 15 hits, I think? Um, before he dies... Scrap. There we go. Rocks. Plastic. Actually, what I should do is I should eat my fruits that I got. That would clear up some space. Yeah, coconuts help a lot with uh, thirst. As do watermelons. We're gonna eat the other one because we can. Okay. Can I make bricks yet? I can. Okay, cool. Sand. Seaweed. Okay, so unfortunately you can only make wet bricks at first, so you have to set them out onto the raft to dry them. Oh, they changed the, the look of them for a second. Okay, cool. Oh. Do I really not have room? See, so yeah, I could have sworn the antenna and the receiver were... Auto. I should probably just make a research bench. And scrap, was it? Yeah. Okay. You go there. This is real jank right now. Okay. So we do that. Is it? So, um, just so you're aware, I will, I'll do this. I think I gotta do it for those guys. It's 
so I'm taking one item. Should probably do that, yeah. So the research table in RAF works like this. You put an item in here and you click research, you lose that item, but now it'll pop up in other recipes. And eventually you'll be able to make something. So because of the clam, plank, and palm leaf, we can make a bird's nest. Can't research the sand. Probably because I need to make it into glass first. It's the same thing with the copper and the uh, metal. Sweet. Okay, so. Put that there. I guess we'll put these guys here for now. We're going to check these overboard. Oh, that's right, I switched. So, the drop button is Q by default and I kept pressing Q while I was sailing and I kept losing my items so I had to put it to a different key or bind it to a different key <sighs> okay empty inventory Bruce is over there I'm gonna see once I get far enough away from Bruce I'm gonna see if I can kill him So I can, I can collect stuff in this area. There's a way to do it with the spear, and I'm gonna test it out. Alright, I don't know where he is right now, but... I also don't know how many hits it's gonna take. Oh, but, sorry, one thing I did forget to mention, his hits are cumulative, so the times that he's attacked my bow and I've hit him back, he, um, he retains that, so he doesn't, like, regain health. Okay. Let's get some water. Dip down. No? He's on that side. Come on. Come on, Bruce. Come over here. Okay. So, I'm supposed to attack when he opens his mouth and I shouldn't take damage. Clearly I misaimed. There we go. Okay, cool. I got it. Generally you can get two attacks in on him, one on his tail as he passes. This is going to be a pain with the sun going down. that or I need to follow him when I hit him with the tail. Come on back. I don't even think I hit him. That's annoying. There he is. I hate the darkness. Oh shit. Mm. I need a new spear! Eight plank, three rope. Eight plank. Three rope. No, 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 no. Don't! I also need, I also need... I need this, I need this, because I need to repair this one because it has my anchor on it. 
Let me go around and check all my other ones. Because there was another one that I didn't repair either. I think it was this one. <sighs> Bruce, you scare me. You scare me, man. Okay, I think it was that. And... There, okay. Technically, I don't need my axe anymore, but I don't have a spot for it. Shoot. Love that you can just hop up the side of this. Oh, I can't see Bruce at all. That's not good. I either need to wait for the moon to get higher or wait until day. Last time I went researching, um, every island has a single underground, or under, sorry, I keep saying underground, underwater, like, base that was abandoned. So you'll find, like, a nice little, those are stones, um, um, a little che treasure chest under, under the water. Even though it's a bit of a struggle at the beginning, I am glad that I decided to play this. Because again, be quite relaxing. So we should be able to get enough sand and clay at this island to be able to make enough brick to make a smelter. So we can get some copper and iron ingots, or metal ingots I guess is what they're called. Iron would make more sense I think versus metal, but that's just me. I keep pressing shift while I'm swimming and it doesn't work to swim faster. You can make flippers at one point, which will help.
Sun's about to set, which is good because I'd like to see some of this during the day. As easy as it is to find what you can mine, daytime is helpful. And I would like to kill Bruce so I can mine over there safely and potentially grab all that debris that's in front of us. Oh, are you kidding me? Dude. Not cool. Do not tell me he's all the way over here already. Yep, he was. Not cool, dude. Okay. Um, that, that. Oh, I need... A new hook. Thing is you can't stay at an island because you're going to run out of resources very quickly. At least in the beginning of the game. Gotta stay on the move. Well I could do that because I want to make Where is it? Smelter. Dry brick. And a nail. Okay. I can do that. I think one of my brick is bricks are dry. Oh, oh, oh. I picked up both at the same time, thank god. Or something like that, I don't know. Scared the heck out of me. Okay, and then I need a nail, which is made of scrap. I just need to see how many I need for this. Now I can make a whole lot. I can make collection nets, I can make a scarecrow. Scarecrows are dumb, they don't work. And a smelter. Okay, smelter is under... Shwat. Okay, here. I need six dry bricks. Jeez. Okay, so I have one already. Oh, I can make three, that's cool. Gonna do that, so they're kind of further apart this time. It was this one that had those guys. Okay. Can leave that. We'll probably have to keep the plastic on us, but that's okay. Now, let us kill Bruce. I'm gonna do that. I was late. Because he was too close to me. Go down.
there's more stuff over here. Should are you gonna glitch through something? There you are. Hey, look, he's dead. Sorry, Bruce. Thing is, he's gonna respawn. So what I need to do is I need to grab almost everything. That way he will respawn a little slower. If I so the last thing that would um harvest is his head, which is helpful later on. You know, I can put it up on a trophy board or I can use it for biofuel. But right now it is kinda of pointless to us. But it's only five? I thought I got four sh Thought I got five shark meat from a. Oh, he was named Bruce by the developers. Okay, fair enough. Four shark meat and one head. Okay, cool. That works. Works for me. And because we're on easy, it should take even longer for him to. Respawn. I need to go eat though. So shark meat is amazing for food. I need that guy. Drink. Grab that that there. Okay, cool. Should probably also cook up that potato since it's taking up spot. Space. So I'm legit, legit going to wait for that state that uh, shark steak to cook. Because I am low on health. And if you're low on health and it gets... Here, one sec. If it gets below this dashed line, you're gonna start walking slowly. Which means you can't sprint, and of course you're going to be in trouble, in general. Shoot. The world's going to get weird too. Come on, please. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. See, I'm walking slowly, I've got the black around the edges. Come on. But it won't go any faster than it has been, so that's the good thing. Could eat this raw potato, of course, but see, nice and healed. Okay, Bruce is still there. Scrap, sand, and clay.
I don't know if the body will vanish before he starts circling the raft again, but... All the same, it's best to move as quickly as possible if you can. It was unfortunate that I was hungry, um, so I had to deal with it right after killing him, but... Yeah, his body's gone. Despawned on its own. Okay. Take one more look around the island. See if I missed anything. music is really nice. Yeah, I don't think there's an underground, under, Jesus, underwater, uh, shelter. So the other thing I can do, if I don't want to deal with Bruce, but I want to get the debris field that's out here, is take a huge loop out this way, and then go into the debris field and collect my stuff. It'll take a bit for it to start respawning when I get sailing, but that's okay. Like I said, I try not to look down when I'm out in open water. This kind of spooks me a little bit. Sun setting again. I might have to make a bed. I think the debris field went out too far. That's that's interesting. The only thing with this is that you're gonna run into Bruce as you head back to your raft, but like I said, you can take a few hits. My health bar is perfectly high. Ooh. Star cargo. Like I said, that's new. Usually you only get barrels, but apparently they have crates now. But I think it's worth it to collect all this stuff. If you're gonna get hit a couple times, because you'll regain your health pretty quickly. Of course, if Bruce does come after you, you should swim directly for your raft. And I'm getting pretty close, so he might start attacking, so just be aware. Don't get spooked. Although the darkness is a little spooky here, isn't it? <laughs> there he is, yep. Hello. Of course, it depends on how far away you are from your raft. You can also sometimes juke him by jumping. <sighs> that actually scared me a little. I told you guys to be ready, but I certainly wasn't. Didn't get more seaweed. Got 
more planks. Although I may need to expand my raft a little bit more. And dry, sweet. Wet and wet. There's that. Sweet. I thought I had another clam. I wonder if I accidentally um trash it or something. Sworn I had two clams. Oh well. It's a okay. We have a bed. Just need to figure out where the bed is going. doing it like this so I know sorry I'm not talkative um, I'm doing it like this so I know where my absolute center is it's not a big deal I guess maybe it's more of a concern of mine it's it's mainly so if that happens where I run out of stuff in this case plastic I can just or I know where I need to continue. Okay, so we need to shove off. So we're just going to do this, remove, and we're headed out again. Back to hooking our stuff in. I do need to fix the front of my boat very quickly. So it's kind of annoying. But I can probably set down my um my bed here soon. I 
see a barrel to the left. I think. Yeah. As you can see, Bruce has respawned. That barrel appeared out of nowhere. Either that or I need to add like a uh, railing to my boat. I'm not going to land at that island. I need to collect some plastic for a while. See, my biggest question, I guess, is where did the debris field come from? You know, in the grand scheme of... Or the grand lore, I guess. right now. That didn't work at all, did it? Let's see if we can catch that. It might not be in the path. It's not. That's okay. Liked how I angled that. <laughs> I'm legit always concerned I'm going to fall off my freaking raft. Like I said, I may have to put up a railing. I think. Okay, this is about as wide as I would like to go. And then we can go up. I don't know what we're building yet, but if possible, I'd like to not get larger than this. 
Dang it. Double dang it. I do have new plastic uh, barrels, plastic jugs rather. Probably could have just collected it as it went by, but oh well. another island. Okay. For now, we're going to do that. I might have to call it quits here soon. I don't think anyone's watching live, but um, I will continue this, I think. It's, it's hitting that spot of fairly relaxing, even though Bruce does jump scare me at times. And it's a great one to just, you know, sit and chat with you guys. Just might take me a second to look at chat, though, because sometimes I'm... I wouldn't say fighting for my life, but... I do feel a little hectic at times, especially here at the beginning. But at present, I'm getting a decent collection of stuff. I'm not dying. Probably all due to the fact I've played it before. But yeah, I do have a bit of a headache, so I was thinking of... chilling for a bit, maybe. On my own. Collect at least that one. Thank you. I almost got both of them. I need my nails. I need more nails. Oops. So these are a bit annoying. You see how it has that lip around it? You kind of want to put that in the back so you can check the uh, the fire underneath. As you can see, I can do that. 
Unfortunately, though, you can only do one at a time. By the way, I should probably make another hook. Storm's coming. Storms are actually kind of fun in Raft. Like, they feel a little logical. I mean, as logical as a game storm could be anyways. Fill that up that up. Actually, I need to eat. There's the rain. Wrong. Yeah, I got two. Sometimes the storms are just rain. Sometimes it's rain and wind. The wind doesn't affect you like it does in other games. Um, but it does affect the water. So it'll make the waves a little bit more hectic. Do that to get that in quicker. Yeah, boy. Nice. So now we have an ingot. We're going to do this. I could have totally just waited for that to get into my line of vision. Or line of hook. Kind of wish sometimes that the barrels would stop, though. A decorated package? What is that? Is that new? That must be new. There's also a fairly large island coming up. Can I make an anchor? Yes, I can. Damn it! Shit, man. It's like a really large island. The actual heck.
might actually be okay. Decent size island, what the heck? Okay. Let's see, let's see, let's see. What can I dump? What can I dump? Do that. Do that. Doing pretty good on um on stuff. To be fair, I do need, um, oh, actually, what I should do is smelt some sand and get some glass, which anyone who plays Minecraft will know that to be true. So I just realized that I kind of left, um, a snack out that is kind of a, a cool snack. One was a mochi, which is ice cream. Um, some raw cookie dough. And uh, cream puffs. And because I poked it, the ice cream is now melting out of its... <laughs> Mochi container. Just kind of funny. Whoops. I totally meant to eat that earlier. Got so involved in the game. That's really, really funny. It was also really funny watching the mochi ice cream come out of the uh, the mochi wrapper, I think it is. Okay. Alright. Yeah, so I just wanted to do this and then research these things real quick. So th these are our ingots, and then we have our glass. So now we can do an advanced purifier with glass. We can make bolts and hinges, and we can do an advanced grill which we saw on the pirate ship, that you can do three shark meat at once. And you can do f four, five potatoes? Or, or beets. You can make batteries. That's a copper thing. You can do this. And I'm gonna go start on some metal for this guy. going to cook up some more potatoes. <laughs> but yeah, we're going to call it an episode here soon, guys. Guys and gals, you know me, I'm trying to I'm trying to use the word um for all genders. But if it's a problem, you let me know and I won't use it for you. Or when you're in chat. I have too much crap. I need larger storage. Okay, I'm curious about this thing. <gasps> I got a table! Or learned a table. Oh, look! I learned flag. Cool. 
We'll do one more, and we'll save two for, for next time when people are here. Oh, I learned another type of table, like a circular table. That's so cool. Oh, yeah, yeah, it was here. So we learned this table, and we learned that table. Neat. Okay. Excuse me. It's not necessary, but I like to get up to health when I end a end a end a game before I go to bed. It's not gonna reach. That's fine. That's really neat. It's not so bad. Okay, so yes, we are going to end our stream here. We're going to save our world, which I should have been doing a lot more frequently. Um, but that's okay because there is an autosave feature every 10 minutes or so. And ah, perfect timing cap I'm on. I was wondering if the, um, if the text would go over my status bar and it does so that's exciting all right well i'm gonna go to the main menu here since we saved but this isn't the end of raft we will continue and we'll get to some story mode stuff coming soon too we'll figure out what those antenna and receiver are for I'm not going to switch to pretzel, pretzel Rocks since the uh, game audio is continuing. Make sure to like this video, give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe to my channel and hit that bell for notifications every time I go live. See you next time.